This is Hartford Dot E back at Art Style Fest, but this one's different. This is Art Style Fest 2.0, and we're currently at a super amazing booth here. And this is for DeFi for creators. I'm from super big on creator economy. I've been looking at Wapcast, I've been looking at Dracula, and also a DeFi trader as well with like two million dollars of volume, as you guys know. So let's understand, let's dive in, and let's talk to the team. What are you guys building? Why don't you just give us uh, some info on this? Yeah, so we're building a, a, a protocol that is plugged on top of existing social media platforms. So that's the main difference. Okay. You know, there's a lot of new Web3 social platforms. Correct. Um, one of the problems there is that for creators, rebuilding from scratch, building the audience from zero is a really big ask. Yeah, uh, yeah. Billions of followers on Instagram or yeah. on YouTube. So what we're doing here is we're taking existing social media platform like X, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, all okay, of them. Okay. And you can basically connect that to a DeFi ecosystem. So you connect once, then you keep creating content on your favorite platforms. In the background, you accrue points on our okay. platform, and those points can then be redeemed for cash in the DeFi ecosystem. So it's an additional monetization layer on top of existing business. Understood, understood. So I think that's pretty cool, right? Because there are already a lot of platforms. There are like platforms like X, the Wapcast blowing up as well. But for creators, there isn't like a perfect layer for them, right? Uh, but again, what, what exactly is it? Because uh, uh, is it like a fan token where other people could buy, let's say, a hardship, other people could buy hardship token? Is that how it works? or No, not at all. So you have the existing platforms. Okay. You can keep creating content there and you okay. for, based on your engagement, you accrue points okay. on the platform and those points okay. can be sold for, for cash in the DeFi ecosystem. Oh, that makes so sense. we work with liquidity providers, we work with lending platforms, so okay. add additional liquidity to the platform. Brands can come in to grow the size of the pot, okay. and then that pot gets distributed back to creators. Got the it. way to decide how much you get as a creator compared to other creators okay. is based on how many people stake on your behalf. Okay. So we have a staking economy, people okay. can stake for creators. The more stakers you attract, the bigger the share of the reward okay. you get. Okay, that's pretty cool, because uh, I, I actually genuinely see the future is of creator economy, and everybody could, could do what they love, right? I mean, I'm creating content uh, but then there's someone who's creating content full time and right. they could actually just monetize that and that could become their major source of revenue. Absolutely. So how could that help them? Like how could the DeFi uh, help them here? Well, you know that only 4% of creators actually are able to make a living out of what they create. Okay. Uh, there's about 300 million people that identify as creators oh, on wow. the planet, so it's big. Okay. And they make about $200 billion in total. Okay. And only 1% of the creators get 90% of the revenue. So it's not a very fair, it's not a very evenly distributed economy. So with this, the idea is you don't need big brands. We only are attracted by big influencers. You can just post. As long as you get engagement and you get people to like what you're saying, you're basically going to get rewards. If you're a bigger creator, you get bigger rewards. But you can already start getting rewards even if you have a 1,000 followers and you're just sharing things. So wow. it's just an additional way to generate revenue. It kind of takes the revenue stream away from pure brand deals okay. to more of a DeFi ecosystem. It's got really it. the first time that a financial layer is being plugged on top of social media. Got it, got it. I mean, if I just have to connect up what happened recently, you know, like Marcus Brownlee, like he, he talks about a product and then it literally can drive, uh, you know, like the stock of a product down. And that actually shows the power of the creators, right? The power of the, their own network effects. So I think it's, it's super important that you guys pay attention to the creator economy and also Matira, right? But yeah, you guys should definitely check out Matira as well. And what's your name again? Sam. I want to get Sam. Sam, it was amazing talking to you as well, Thank Sam. You, and Thank I'm you just going to get back, you know, just go uh, research on the website and see how this is going, right? Because I truly believe in this project and yeah, let's get going, guys. Thank you so much. And I would love to see how much you make as a creator by sharing this. Yeah, yeah, that'll be very pretty cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks,